Hey guys, I hope y'all have had a great day and happy Mother's Day to all of y'all uh, ladies. And um, so tonight, uh, let's see, it'd be uh, May the 10th. And so today you should have read um, Psalm chapter 10, Psalm chapter 40, Psalm chapter, whew, let's see, 70, Psalm chapter 100, and Psalm chapter 130. Uh, and that would have been the Psalms on the 30. Uh, and then also you would have got Proverbs chapter 10. Uh, so that would have been your five Psalms. And then that would have been your one proverb. Um, and so today what I'm going to do, like I always do, you can read God's word anywhere. Uh, today I'm sitting in my dining room or tonight I am and uh, sitting in one of the, the cushion chairs. So it's a little bit more comfortable than a forklift, but you can read God's word anywhere. Uh, we've just got to be willing to open it up. Guys, I want to tell you, uh, we, we, me, I want to say me, leaning on the Word of God. Uh, there's no other place to run. Uh, there's no other greater truth than that of God's Word. And so uh, let's, let's read tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing Psalm chapter 10. And again, like I said, uh, it's just allowing God to be our refuge, allowing God to be our strong tower, um, and it's the word of God that speaks the truth. So here we go. Uh, Psalm chapter 10 and verse 1. Why standest thou far off, O Lord? Uh, see, see, it's already in the position of uh, the psalmist is crying out. Why hidest thou thyself in thy times of trouble? The wicked is... The wicked in his pride doth per, uh, persecute the poor. Let them be taken into the vices that they have ima imagined. And what happens is, is in this psalm, I don't know if you if y'all read it yet or not, but in this psalm, what you see is after verse two, you see the position that the wicked have taken, and what the psalmist is doing is the psalmist is crying out for justice. Uh, and guys, listen, you ready? Whether justice be on this side or the other side, I can promise you it will be had. Um, because notice by the time we get to the end of the psalm, you're going to be going, oh, yeah, that is right. So we'll notice here. Here we go. Uh, it's uh, chapter 10, verse 3. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blesseth the covetous, whom the Lord abhorreth. So therefore, they're, they're basically calling what's, what's bad good and what's good bad. Sounds familiar if you really want to know. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. God's not even there. Uh, his ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of the, his sight. As for all of his enemies, he puffeth at them. Uh, watch this, verse 6. Or he laughs at them is basically what he said. Uh, verse 6. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in in, ad advers in adversity. Uh, basically, this is the wicked man. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Verse 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places. Doth he murder the innocent? His eyes are privately set against the poor. Almost like someone that's, um, um, they're, they're, um, they're a hypocrite. They're, they're a pretend, uh, you know, hey, I love the poor, but then they secretly, they, they hate uh, those of that position. Not just the poor, but the poor spirit as well. Verse 9, he lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him unto his net. Verse 10, he croucheth and he humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Basically, you ready? What he's doing is he's, is he's, uh, he is he is so boastful about who he is. Um, he's so uh, he's so um, purposeful in to say that that I'm greater than that of God. I don't need God. Um, I know more than God. Oh, you could go to Romans one, like I've said already. Romans one speaks very plain on this. Notice verse eleven. He has said in his heart, God hath forgotten. He hideth his face. He will never see it. Basically, you ready? The fool says in his heart, there is no God. Um, guys, listen, ready? That, that, is, that is where this person has gotten to. But notice verse 12. This is the change in the psalm. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thy hand and forget not the humble. Wherefore doth the wicked con uh, c contemn God? Um, 
No, no, this we ready. He has said in his heart, Thou will not require it. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite to requit it with thy hand. The poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. You ready? My God sees all. My God knows all. There's no surprises for my God. My God is, is all seeing. That, that's, that's who my God is. Uh, he never sleeps, he never slumbers. And basically, these people think that's true or that, or that, you know, really, is there, is there a God? Or maybe, you know, your God is dead, um, whatever they want to say about it. Verse 15, break, break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. Verse 16, the Lord is king forever and ever. That means forever. Uh, the heathen are perished out of his land. Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou will prepare their heart. Thou will cause thine ear to hear. And then notice how he does. To judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. The man of earth, man that, that, that does not seek after that of God, that does not want to live in the ways of God, uh, but would rather live in the ways of that of his own desires, his own passions, uh, because this earth really is his heaven. Uh, he'll never experience anything greater uh, because his death will be that of a place called hell. Listen to me, ready? Psalm 10, uh, I, I, I pray that you've read them. Psalm 140, that one's a blower, um, or 130. I, man, I hope that you've gotten to that one. Um, but notice chapter 11. I'm not going to read it tonight. Um, I'll, I'll read it tomorrow. Chapter 11, you got seven verses that reminds me that I can trust in my God. I can trust in my God. I put my faith and my trust in the one that is sitting on his throne, ruling and reigning, um, and, and doing, um, uh, taking care of his children. And so um, listen to me, ready? Pick up your Bible, guys. There's no better place to run than to his word. Pick up your Bible, run to his word. Um, it is a great help. It is, it is a wonderful thing to be um, covered yourself in because there's no place better than to get the truth. I hope you guys have a blessed night. Uh, look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow. God bless you guys. Love y'all.